Mobile has grown into the world's biggest technology platform, fundamentally changing the world with each new generation. And now we're planning the fifth generation. In parallel, we'll continue to push 4G LTE to its full potential, but 5G needs to go further. Much more than faster data rates, 5G will enable new services, connect new industries, and empower new experiences. 5G will connect much more than your smartphone, connecting tomorrow's homes, vehicles, robots, industries, cities, virtually everything. To connect these billions of things, 5G must scale down in cost and power, or scale up in performance to deliver mobile broadband that's not only faster, but also more uniform. 5G must also connect in new ways to empower new awareness services and deliver new levels of reliability and latency for mission-critical services. These extreme variations require a network scalable and adaptable enough to support it all. And that requires an entirely new kind of network. To connect billions of things and provide instant experiences, we need to bring content, connectivity, and computing close to people and machines. In this user-centric approach, devices become integral parts of the network, not just endpoints anymore. They'll discover and communicate directly, and even relay data beyond the range of cell towers, forming truly edgeless connectivity. We also need a unified air interface, scalable across all services and spectrum bands, including higher bands like millimeter wave, providing a unified platform to meet our expanding connectivity needs in the next decade, not only scaling along the classical dimensions, but also broader dimensions and even business dimensions. And it must fully leverage today's investments with a common core network that also supports 4G and Wi-Fi access and simultaneous connectivity. That's our vision of 5G. The scalability to connect everything from simple sensors to complex robots. And a user-centric design where devices are no longer just endpoints, forming a unified platform across all spectrum and services. 5G is really the future communication standard that's being designed now. 5G is going to enable not only even better smartphones, it's also able to deliver higher data rates, it's able to deliver lower latency, it's able to deliver more mission-critical reliability and availability. These sort of improvements are something that is going to bring in a new range of applications. I get excited about the possibility for virtual reality, augmented reality-based games where it may not be too surprising that 10 years from now, people are going to be gathering with their friends in a park and they're all bringing their head-mounted displays and there's communication between those devices, there's communication from the network to those devices. Entirely new mixtures of physical and virtual reality games are being played. If we look at the automotive industry and the ability for these factories themselves to have critical communication within the factory, low latency information exchange between a larger number of industrial equipment within the factory. And then you can also look at the sort of communication technologies that are going to be embedded into the vehicles themselves. So this both from a safety application in terms of communication between vehicles, but then also in terms of the amount of data that's being created within a vehicle. Let's take the example of an EMT in terms of relaying information back that they capture upon recognizing the patient and the symptoms, but then there's also the aspect of what sort of data is immediately available to the EMT. The ability to have that kind of information availability be more instantaneous, more relevant, and more structured specific to that situation. Qualcomm is driving 5G in many different directions and really pushing the boundaries of what's capable for a wireless network. 5G, not just a new generation, but a new kind of network.